Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. If re-elected, he will be a dictator on day one. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. And I will quote, terminate the United States Constitution. Authoritarianism and totalitarianism. A person who's telling them, I'm going to be a dictator. They asked me, would I like to debate this gentleman? And I said, no. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. When they go low, we kick them. Well, Hitler was duly elected. That's right. Right. Autocracy and and dictatorship. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler, who I got to vote for to keep Hitler out the White House. There has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He's an existential threat to democracy. I own it all. I am a dictator. Like acts committed by a dictator or even says he will be one. I mean, that is Nazi imagery. So dictatorial, authoritarian tendencies. I think Trump has a great deal of responsibility Mm -hmm. here. St. John's Church, known as the Church of the Presidents. It, too, was targeted. 66-year-old James T. Hodgkinson, who had opened fire on the players, apparently deliberately targeting the GOP. Six people injured, including Congressman Steve Scalise, suspect now dead, had a long and public history of anti-Trump and anti-Republican rhetoric. Wants to build camps for millions of people. He will be a dictator on day one. The term vermin was really effectively used by Adolf Hitler and by Mussolini. Things that we see happening today is a sort of a, a sleepwalking into a dictatorship in the United States. He wants to assert autocratic powers. They've just given him uh, a license for dictatorship. What did President Trump, what he did today is straight out of a dictator's playbook. It- I'd like to punch him in the face. The biggest terror threat in this country is white men. I told Jeb Bush after that debate that I thought he should have punched him in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Dressed to look like President Donald Trump gets stabbed to death. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. It has historically been the province of dictators like Vladimir Putin, Benito Mussolini, Joseph Stalin, or Adolf Hitler. He is behaving like a Hitler or Mussolini-style fascist. Well, he- Donald Trump is a great threat to our democracy. He could be violent, that he uh, would connect himself to violent people, and that he f- figured he was above the law. Donald Trump believes that he should be the ruler, the dictator of the United States of America. Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans quote a clear and present danger to our democracy. I will go and take Trump out tonight. <laughs> The domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution uh, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. You get out and you create a crowd! And you push back on them! You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for. <laughs> tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind. The man arrested outside a Supreme Court justice, Brett Kavanaugh's home, now faces attempted murder charges. These are live images, folks, at the doors of the Supreme Court. On the incident that left Senator Rand Paul with six broken ribs, this might be one of my favorite stories. 